the Pau Kitty X18S has been announced and in this video we're going to take a few minutes to go over the details specification that was put out on the Pau Kitty website. So the system will be running Android 11. It has a 5.5 inch um, 720p display. Um, the battery capacity is 5000 milliamp. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, USB type C for charging and also data transfer. The CPU is a T618. It's a 8 core CPU, 64 bit um, dual core ARM A75 and at up to 2 gigahertz and 6 cores A55 up to 2 gigahertz as well. The GPU is a Mali G52 with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Um, the TF card slot supports up to 512 gigabytes of additional storage. The device supports Wi-Fi 5 along with Bluetooth 5.0. There is a HDMI output on the top um, via the mini HDMI port or the Type-C port based on what I'm seeing here. Um, some additional functions are a gyroscope sensor that's built into the device. Um, they are speaking of like GPS, FM radio, there's a mic on the device and additional stuff like that. There's also a vibration motor in this handheld so um, that's very good. So for games that support haptic feedback you're going to get that such as titles from like PS1 so if you're playing PS1 games and some Android games on here um, you'll get that haptic feedback. Um, the input method um, you know the traditional um, soft keys that are supported on the like GPD XD it has the same form factor as the GPD XD and similar to the Power Kitty X18 as before. Music format, you know, it supports MP3 and MP4 for video um, apps. It is going to become coming preloaded with the Google Play Store, and they're going to have their own um, different application stores that you can download games and all of that. Um, based on the design that I'm seeing here, the white um, looks pretty nice. However, I'm not really a fan of the bezels that are around the screen, but I think it would get the job done. It's not going to be the most premium device, but I think for the price that they're aiming for, it might just be worth it. I'm expecting this device to come in at around $150. Right now, we're going to take a look at some gameplay that Pow Kitty put up on their YouTube channel of God of War. Um, it's playing at around top performance of 48 FPS. So keep that in mind. And we're going to talk more about the design of this handle when we come back. Now from the gameplay you can see that God of War um, is performing at a somewhat playable frame rate. 
I'm not sure of the resolution scaling that they're using on this if it is 1x or 2x um, however if it's 2x I'd suggest that you're probably gonna have to play that 1x to get um, 60 FPS on this handheld as you can hear the buttons like the face buttons they're very clicky um, it looks like the analog sticks supports L3 and R3 um, now talking about the white um, design that they went with this white um, seems to be pretty nice it doesn't seem like it's going to get dirty pretty easily now taking a look at a closer look at the screen it's not a bad screen it's only 720p but it's good enough and it would get the job done um, that gray border that they have around the screen isn't too bad however if they come out with like custom stickers for this I probably slap a sticker around it similar as to what they had for the GPD X XD back in the day now looking at the form factor uh, and what we saw with the GPD XP I think a form factor like this is what the community was expecting with a GPD XP or GPD XD2 but we never got that so I guess this would be the best bet if you're looking for a handle with a clamshell form factor um, the speakers you have stereo speakers on this and they're downward firing firing you have that power kitty um, logo at the bottom on the front of this device the one place that does say that um, power kitty is lacking when it comes on to their Android handhelds is software so the software isn't the best and they could do some more um, with the software to give it a more clean design I think they need to put a lot more work into their Android ROM to make it better and to make the device uh, more appealing to users because you can sell a hardware with limited specification but once the software is good a lot of people can get behind it but I think the community behind um, PowerKitty devices is growing so you might see um, a lot of um, custom firmware come out for this device so people might create new firmwares that you can flash onto this device and use it as you will maybe even give you better performance in some emulators as for Android games, I think this will run most of the Android games that are out there. Definitely you'll be able to play PUBG on this, but not at the highest settings. And yeah, that's pretty much it. My thoughts on the device is once this comes in under $150, then yeah, it should be worth it. Anything above $150, I'd say just get a Odin or get a GPDXP. Although I don't like the form factor of the XP, it is going to be more powerful than this so if they're aiming for $150 price tag then yes this will be worth it and this will be a good competitor for the Odin and for the GPD XP that just wraps it up for the video right now guys um, give the video a like subscribe to the channel and share the video with a friend who likes tech until then I'll see you in the next one peace